manufacturedhomes.com and I am on the road today so I decided to uh, go live because I didn't have a video ready today. So, we're going live. So today we are here in Mesa, Arizona and I am visiting, uh, where am I visiting here? This is Mobile Homes on Main in Mesa, Arizona. Um, a lot of times on the channel you'll see me in the south and so forth. Well, I'm heading a little west to take a look at some of these homes and these bright blue skies and these palm trees and all of that stuff. Um, it's kind of warm out here. But let's flip you around. Thank you for joining me today, clicking on the video if you're joining me live. And if you're not joining me live, you're watching it later. Thanks for your support. Truly appreciate it. But let's flip this camera around and take a look at this cool little unique home I found. Maybe if it'll work right. There it is. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Alden. Now this is built by Cavco West, and this home is a three bed, two bath, sits at 1,470 square feet. Um, it's quite unique um, in, in a way that, that the architecture is the, the, the windows, the style design. Wait till we get inside, you'll see the nine foot ceilings in here. But I love the little square window there. We're gonna spin around, come over to the other side. The only difference between live and not live is I have a better angle when I film and I have to kind of walk farther. But look at those windows. Those are nice, big, huge windows. Um, we're going to take a look over here. I'm going to show you where the um, water heater is because in this model, it's outside. Makes it a little convenient. Not many models do that, but a lot of them out west actually do. So that is hot water heater and some of the windows in the sun. Cool. Now let me not trip. All right. I mean, I, I love some of the eaves, the gables. This home, just to kind of let you know, we have uh, six foot, six inch eaves and then 12, 12 inch eaves or something like that. Six inch eaves, excuse me, sorry. Um, and let's go take a look on the inside. It comes with a nice little patio here, which is Always a great thing. Um, this door right here, this is an eight foot door. Solid, big and strong. Let's go take a home tour. Now, we are inside of the Alden. Like I said, if you weren't here before, it's 1,470 square feet, three bed, two bath. We've got nine feet ceilings, a, a standard tray ceiling that comes with this home and plenty, plenty of windows. Um, what I do like is when you walk in, you have this little banister kind of separating everything for you. And uh, take a look, a look around here. So just to let you know, the living room size here, or the great room as they call it, is 20 feet one inch by 12 feet seven inches. Really big living room with those huge windows. The home is a tape and textured drywall home throughout. That is uh, the, uh, the water heater, just to let you know, was a 40 gallon water heater. Um, we have that eight foot door. Um, Congolium linoleum flooring throughout the kitchen, bathroom, and everywhere. Um, and like I said, nine foot flat ceilings throughout the whole home with a knockdown textured finish. Two by four interior walls. It's pretty cool. Let's take a look at this kitchen here. Um, one thing I do like is I like that backsplash. That uh, tile backsplash goes all the way up to the ceiling here. We have a nice Euro range. You know, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it already, but the base price of this home is $181,310. And within this home, this home has about $22,000 in upgrades. So just to let you know, we have a built-in GE microwave and the stainless steel appliance package here with the GE. A matte finish single pull faucet there. Not bad. It also comes with this French door refrigerator, the GE standard. The only thing I do see is up top, you might have some dust bunnies. Nice chandelier right over there. Let's take a look at some of the construction here. Not bad, adjustable shelves. 
good quality construction. I like that 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 range right there. A lot of them are kind of turning into this uh, Euro style range, which is really cool. I think it kind of started with uh, Sunshine Homes down south, and it's kind of expanding. But it's really good looking uh, appliances there. I can tell you. Now let's go back and take a look at some of these bedrooms. Big old long hallway for this front loaded home, front elevated home, excuse me. Is it 10 feet by, I think that is about, about 10 feet too. Yeah, it's about a 10 by 10 room. Let's take a look at that closet here. Nice, we have wooden shelves and a wooden um, coat dowel. That's nice, coat rod. Now, nice texture on the walls. Let's see, what do we have here? We have a coat closet right in the middle of the hallway here. Yeah, it's kind of weird. When I do YouTube lives, it doesn't give you like a wide angle option. So it seems like I don't get as much of the view that I usually do when I do my normal home tours. There we go. We have a nice matte finish um, faucet package in this home. That's one of the appliance. That's one of the upgrades here. Water saving Elon commodes. Your standard 30 by 60 fiberglass tub and shower combo. there all right let's keep going down this long hallway and then right here to our right we have the utility laundry mud room let's take a look just full shelves good crown molding on um all the uh, the cupboards and um, that I've seen in the house. We have our air conditioning unit right here. And of course, our water heater is on the outside here, right behind me. Let's go check out our next guest room here. And this one is about uh, 10 feet by 11 foot. It says on the paperwork here, I could be wrong. I love those square windows. You only kind of see those out west. Decent, nice size closet here. All right, let's see here. Now, let's go check out the primary. Important in my world. There's a 13 feet 6 inch by about a 13 feet 6 inch room. Really big, spacious, and those those nine foot walls and ceil the nine foot ceiling and walls. I mean, it just makes it feel even more huge than it is. You know, we have a nice archway into the restroom. Let's go take a look, or bathroom, however you want to call it. And we're first going to take a look at this nice little soaker tub that is segregated from everywhere else. Nice little nook there, the window right above. Nice and cozy, I would have to say. And then right next door to that, we have our elongated water saving toilet. That is in its own closet. I like that. It's not, not too close to the, to the tub. Here we are. We have a nice walk in closet here, decently sized. Right. We have dual vanities right here and myself hi everybody let's take a look at some of the drawers here oh see display only please do not use don't use the toilets guys nice and we have our shower right on here nice fiberglass i think that's a 40 inch shower with two seats Looking good. Right, let's take a look at some of the linen storage here. See how 
Thank you everyone for joining me who's on live and thank you for everybody who's joining me afterwards. I appreciate it. This was kind of an impromptu thing. I didn't decide to go live until about an hour and a half ago. So this is a nice sized bedroom. I like it. All right, let's see what else we have in this home. See this front elevated home. It was unique because like the way it looks outside, I think it just looks really cool. I love these square windows. Um, the ceilings, it just caught me off guard because I didn't think anything out here would be this tall. Um, you know, but it's a little less, a little less like the south and east where you have more bridges and roads and so forth. I guess out here you have more open area to transport it, you know, so it's nice. But I actually like this home. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. What would you change about it? Um, you know, share that with me. Um, and let me flip this camera around. There you have it. There you go, guys. So this was the Alden from the Pacifica Silip series, uh, built by Cavco West. Um, it's 1,470 square feet, three bed, two bath, and the um, biggest price for this one is $181,310. Um, and this home in particular has $22,000 in upgrades. And so this one would be about $200,000 range. So um, that gives you a good idea of how much that is. Um, some of the other features that might be interested in, you know, like the one thing that I do like about Capco OS is, is they have medicine cabinets. I didn't really show that to you. I should show it to you. But not a lot of manufactured homes have medicine cabinets. As a matter of fact, let's go take a look. Let's go take a look, because that's one of those features that you don't really see. So, right here. Ooh. See, you don't really see that in manufactured housing, so that's actually kind of cool. Um, there's a few things here. Let's see. Anything else? We got drawer over door counter construction everywhere. Um, steel hinges on the drawers, which is really cool. But um, thank you everyone for joining me. I pretty much don't have anything else at this present time of point. I need to go get to the next location to start capturing some of the content from manufacturedhomes.com. But um, thank you everyone for joining. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell. So you'll be able to catch up to, to where I'm at and, and see some of these home tours. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free. I'm trying to get to them. It's kind of hard um, with travel sometimes. But I truly, truly appreciate everyone's support. So um, until the next home tour, I hope you live smarter, choose manufacturer. You have a wonderful day and travel easy. I'll see you next time. Okay?